Good morning, folks. Today we've got sunspots, solar flares, coronal holes, a sun dive and comet, and Uyen storm formation. We also have that massive plasma filament on the north still snaking in. It's the dark line heading towards the Earth's scale, posing an eruption threat. If you missed last night's update, we had a sun dive and comet swing in yesterday. It brightened very close to the corona and then began to quickly fade. It ended up visible on the C2 coronagraph as a dying ember breaking apart into nothing. We took our first M flare in days when the comet got close. Per the title of yesterday's news, the flaring is on the rise. We now have a number of sunspots on the Earth-facing disk. Up north, we saw stagnation and decreased magnetic interaction. However, the central spots continued to grow. Note the opposite polarity lead umbers between groups as they straddle the solar equator. Still got complexity in the back of the big one. And some new sunspots are coming, flashing at the left side there. Yesterday's solar wind intensity allowed plasma to penetrate into the Earth system. The telemetry waned most of the evening, but this morning the speed is ramping back up. The magnetic instability that briefly showed up yesterday may make a return today. Green northern positive coronal hole faced Earth to trigger the Vanuatu 7-pointer. The power then faded, and now we've got the red negative opening coming in on the south. On Iswa, you see how the north has lost power since the earthquake, and now the forceful southern opening swings in. You can easily see it down there in 211 angstroms, dark and menacing. Top news articles. First, the Discover satellite launch has been delayed. This will revolutionize how we understand the solar wind whenever it gets up there. That asteroid that swung close to Earth last night actually had a satellite of its own, a little baby moon. Scientists tracking stellar dimming across the galaxy noted a strange pattern to the dimming of one star. Turns out that a massive ringed planet eclipsed the star and is so enormous that it makes Saturn's rings look like child's play. If you're new here, please catch up with the climate change playlist linked down below this video. For veterans, here's an update. We've seen NASA, NOAA, the MET, and the BOM all get caught changing temperature records to show more warming trends. Now you can add South America to the list. Coming courtesy of not a lot of people know that, taking the Stephen Goddard approach and yanking archival data to find it not quite matching the current records given to the public. First they found one, and then they checked the rest. All of them had been altered. All of them. Uyen storm formation, first solar activity in days, delivers the first tropical development in days. Two systems now churning together in the Indian Ocean, kind of middle of nowhere. Take a look at this powerful low in the east. Nor'easter, anyone? Wild snowstorms continue in this part of the world. Meanwhile, we'll also have some much-needed rain coming to the southwest. Looking at the cloud flows and cloud moisture shows how mid-level water is coming ashore and has nowhere to go but down. In Europe, we have three lows. Way north, a little less north, and down to the south. The pressure map shows that the lows get stronger the further north you go. And that should also be reflected in the watch zones tonight. Down under, we see weak but present convergences east and west. The precipitable water overlay shows those areas ready to downpour. We know the north is in monsoon season, but we'd also love some weather shares from other locations as well. Today we'll split east and west in the current conditions, followed by shots of our star to close. at 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, 3.05 in the west. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.